How does Michigan keep growing its wine industry, do you think? I think it's uh, just with experiences and reinventing itself. Um, it's how do you learn how the cold climate affects. Obviously, with these bad winters these last couple of years, yeah. it's uh, made it a little tougher, but it's just learning. Keep learning and the experience, great winemakers, great places to visit. We enjoyed your wines, but are you a beer drinker by any chance? <laughs> yes, I am. All right, yes, well, let me ask you this question. What makes wine better than beer? <laughs> the conversations that you have when you're drinking wine, because it's actually you can get a little more in-depth with it, whereas beer, um, let's just say you're just swilling back a little bit and having too much of a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the hops, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, last question for you. Now, um, here you're, you're just making wines fairly new to it, but, but what makes a great wine, do you think, in your opinion? Um, you know, that's a great question because you can always say, is it the great grapes, is it the great soil, um, the great conditions, the winemaker? I think a combination of everything of those, <clears throat> but also the people that... Um, the experience that you do have when you're tasting it, whether it's a good steak, um, a good salad, something like that, adds to the complexity of the wine. So that really changes how well it tastes to you. But um, more importantly, it's the people just coming together and having a really good communication about everything. All right, great.